Welcome back. We are going to talk that brap. So KMR, rotary engines, we've got some parts on the table. We're going to talk a little bit about OEM tension bolts and then aftermarket studs. And, you know, similar to the issues within piston motors and engine building, uh, anytime you can use a stud to eliminate a bolt twist, bolt stretch, and get a better clamping pressure or more even clamping pressure, that is ideal. Um, and it's really the reason why in high horsepower, high RPM piston builds, you'll often see engine builders uh, swap to studs. Um, and in the same realm, it's how we ended up developing different types of studs to replace OEM tension bolts in the rotary world. So if you take a look at OEM tension bolts, you can see, um, you know, especially in the second generation naturally aspirated cars, um, they weren't even a full thickness stud. Um, and so your 10 millimeter thread goes to a reduced shank. Um, you know, if you're trying to get even clamping force or if you were running a boosted motor, this would definitely not be ideal. Um, so easy identification basically second generation FC and a tension bolts. Um, perfectly usable in a naturally aspirated motor. Um, obviously tons of OEM cars out there running these very successfully. But you know, if you're gonna run a boosted car or you're turbocharging something, it's a little more ideal to find a set of the either RX-8 or 93 to 99 RX-7 um, or a turbo two RX-7 studs, which were all a full-sized 10 millimeter shank. Um, this one happens to be one of the long bolts from an RX-8. Um, and this one is a 93 RX-7, just one of the main bolts that goes around the block. And you can see that they maintained their shank, uh, shank width at 10 millimeters um, and were considered just a stronger stud, or so, sorry, stronger bolt from the factory. So in many uh, build applications, even if it was an earlier generation block, a lot of the times engine builders would search out the turbo bolts in replacement of the NA smaller bolts, just depending on what parts you're working with. Um, and, you know, an easy identification on RX-8 and FD3S is they're usually going to have ribbing. And then the RX-8 does have a couple long bolts which have this indentation in the uh, in the head, which are for the increased length around the upper secondary ports. Um, you can mix and match uh, 13B studs, just make sure they're all proper 13B length. Like in this case, you can see that the both FD3S and NAFC bolt share the same length, um, but not the same, same strength or same exact quality. They're just a little bit different in their manufacturing. So as time evolved, um, as engine builders searched for stronger options, things like the aftermarket OEM replacement stud uh, came around. And these are great. Um, they, they fulfill a lot of what we desire um, from the engine building category. A stud is going to eliminate the twist factor from tightening. Um, because you're able to screw the stud in and then just equally clamp from a nut versus trying to twist the whole bolt down in. Um, so you eliminate that twist factor and depending on the material, uh, you might be able to eliminate some of the stretching factor as well. So it was nice and uh, there's a lot of different aftermarket options when it comes to OEM 10 millimeter stud replacement. Um, and they do just bolt right in. I'm not going to say that it's a huge increase um, in strength for boosted motors, although there is an increase um, in the ability to have equalized clamping pressure and strength. Um, I think it's just an improvement overall for engines um, anytime you can improve clamping strength and equalize clamping pressure. Um, so definite gains in any motor application that has limitations to boosted application. It's not going to strengthen the block too much. That's really where the aftermarket um, half inch studs come into play, where we actually remachine. You can see that wouldn't fit in your OEM front plate. Um, we actually remachine the front plates for a different thread. 
um, and then machine the whole block to a very precise fitment. So you're basically girdling or strengthening the block, making a stressed member out of the studs, um, comparative to the OEM fitment, which was very loose. So it's, it's not only at this point about um, equalizing cr clamping pressure, eliminating potential uh, twist from studs or bolts, um, but in the, in the case where you actually go to an increased sized stud, um, you're machining the block and like an airplane or like other motors um, in an engineering state of mind, uh, the studs in the block become more of one unified piece and that helps eliminate not only expansion of rotor housings, but fatiguing of cast iron as you're minimizing the block's ability to stress itself in movement with properly fitted um, aftermarket oversized studs. But it is a little bit of a project. And, you know, I think there are reasons to either stay with OEM. Um, you know, most motors can handle... Uh, you know, uh, anywhere from about 7 to 14 pounds of boost without any issues on OEM studs. RX-8 blocks are a little more limited down in the 7, seven pound-ish range. Um, and you get into the RX-7 blocks, usually most of them could handle up into the 14 to 18 pound range, even on OEM studs. But you could get a little more with a, or sorry, OEM bolts. But you get a little more with an OEM stud. However, if you're planning on running 18 plus PSI, um, 20, 30, PSI a boost, 40, 50 PSI a boost. This is the kind of, of upgrade you want to have. Um, and I apologize. I know I've stud bolt back and forth a couple times. I hope you guys can identify the obvious reality, which we've got two options of studs, and that's going to be your stronger option. OEM replacement has its limitations, but stronger than OEM bolts. And then aftermarket upgraded size, remachined block, which really boosts the ability to strengthen, create more reliability, reduce twist, flex, block fatigue, um, all in one. Probably one of the single biggest improvements you can do for block strength and reliability when it comes to high boost levels. If you're talking more about high RPM, naturally aspirated motors, then in most cases, an OEM sized stud will do the job. Um, it's really when we get into aggressive boost, um, long-term sustained boost, sustained high RPM, um, or depending on how motors are mounted um, and twisting might be an issue or loading might be an issue, then studding in this oversized aftermarket application can really strengthen up the block. And I mean, you think about that, just a really tight fit all the way through the block. Basically, you've got this hardened steel bolt now creating strength versus just a tension bolt trying to clamp down, um, which doesn't have the rigidity. Um, and in the past, I think there's, there's you know, been uh, you know, concerns. This is an OEM tension bolt seal. Um, so this is what would usually seal to the OEM 10 millimeter uh, back tension bolt hole to the rear plate. And uh, for a long time, there was like O-ring o options, or you had to kind of come up with your own option for hardware on these studs. But uh, through KMR, Mazda Tricks, uh, we've got ARP hardware, some nice nuts. And then these, we call them Stato seals. I think they're available under different names, but they're basically like the OEM seals. So your back hardware seal is like OEM or better. Um, so high quality studs, high quality hardware, always available from KMR Mazda Tricks. Um, we sell these in sets of five. A lot of the times you don't need to fully stud a block. Um, like I was mentioning, if you're just trying to achieve maybe 20 pounds of boost or somewhere shy of 30, then running like five or seven of these oversized studs will save you cost on studs and save you cost on machine work because it is pricey and allow you to have a very strengthened block. Um, we've done a lot of testing on that um, and we could always help you uh, find the proper application of how many studs you might need 
to achieve uh, your boost um, or horsepower goals. But uh, generally, we say uh, you need at least five or seven to achieve some decent strength if you're trying to run 20, 30 pounds of boost. If you're going over 30 pounds of boost, then we usually recommend doing the whole block and uh, a fully studded block. Um, we've had success in the 30 to 40 pound range. And uh, I know people in drag racing running even more than that on studded blocks. So there's the, uh, the secret. That's the secret to boosted motors, um, whether it's an RX-8 or an RX-7. If you want to keep the block alive under high boost, high stress conditions, oversized studding is where it's at. Um, I'll drop a link below um, to the five piece stud kits. Um, but we do a bunch of special order custom stuff. If you need 20 B studs, if you need long RX-8 studs or anything in between, um, you know, we're happy to work with you. So that's a wrap. That's what studding's about. We'll cover this more. Thanks for watching.